Hi, it's Imogen. If you're new to my channel then welcome. I make and upload plenty content every Friday and this video today is going to be a video with some gift suggestions for your plenty friends. I've got a few different overarching themes of gifts and we'll be giving some suggestions in each of those categories. I'll also put lots of links in the description box so check that out if you're interested in anything I show today and want some of the specific items. I also want to mention that this year in particular I'm trying to buy the majority of my gifts from independent shops or local business owners so that's where a lot of these items are from and one more thing is that this year has obviously been really difficult in terms of mass job losses and tightening of budgets so please don't take this to mean you need to buy everything for your friends and even if you're making presents or can only afford small trinkets it really is the thought that counts when giving and receiving presents. But with that being said, let's get on with the video. So my first gift idea is pots. If you have house plants, you probably need plant pots. They kind of go hand in hand. I have a variety of pots, including cheap ones from Ikea and fancy ones. But my favourites are the one of a kind pots that in normal times I've got at craft fairs. Obviously, craft fairs aren't really going ahead this year, but instead, lots of people are selling their items online instead. There are loads of incredible ceramicists making really beautiful pottery, and Plant Pot's are one of those items that quite a lot seem to be making, so are fairly easy to find. Two shops I've bought from before are Silver Spot Ceramics, which is where I got this beautiful black pot which has sort of a drippy texture and like rainbow shapes at the bottom and I keep my philodendron birkin in here. I also have pots from a shop called 53 North Ceramics which is run by an artist that's local to me over in Chesterfield. So I've bought two pots from her. So firstly this sort of blue spherical one which I keep a sense of area in and then also this cute pink and white pot with sort of three little legs which I keep a rubber plant in. I really like handmade pots because they have a more natural shape and aren't overly perfect like mass produced ones are. You can find handmade pots in every colour imaginable so we'll be able to find ones in your friend's style. In terms of places to buy there's lots of ceramicists on Etsy but I also think Instagram is a great place to find local artists and see the kind of things that they're making. Also, you don't need to buy things which are specifically marketed as plant pots. So I've kept plants in mugs, in drinking cups, in tea light holders before. All of these things still make decent plant pots depending on the size of your plant. My next category suggestion for presents is prints or art. I love finding different prints from different artists, mainly because I am and not at all talented at drawing, so anyone who is, is incredible to me. And as such, I have lots of framed prints around my house. So like with pots, you're probably best place for finding ones in your friend's style, and searching plant print on Etsy gives thousands of results. So it might actually be worth searching something more specific, so you don't have to go trawling through loads of pages but I wanted to give a few examples of prints which I have and love. So firstly, I have this lovely print featuring what looks like an alocasia poly, and this is from a shop on Etsy called Illustrates, which I'll have linked below. I also have this from Jessica May Designs, again on Etsy. This is actually a card which I bought because I wanted something square to fit in this frame. So obviously it doesn't even have to be things marketed as prints. It doesn't even have to be prints or cards. So I have this lovely kind of pennant flag wall hanging, which obviously features a monstera leaf. And I bought this from a craft fair maybe a year or so ago. I don't know the name of the artist I bought this from, but I'll have another look. And if I can't find them, I'll link some similar ones in the description box. I really like prints or art as a gift and generally you can post them fairly cheaply to your friends which is great this year if you won't be seeing them in person. So 
The next category on my gift guide is tools slash soil. Now this is what I would class as a useful gift rather than a fun one, but it's one that your friends will still really appreciate. So first in this category is soil. Now I can't believe I'm suggesting soil as a gift, it sounds absolutely ridiculous. But it is something that's needed for moving plants into bigger pots or putting propagations into soil, so I'm going to suggest it anyway. I'm really pleased with my soil mixes from Soil Ninja, and as soil goes I think they're kind of aesthetically pleasing, but there's probably quite a low bar for nice looking soil packaging. Soul Ninja are an independent shop on Etsy and they also have their own website and I have actually done an unboxing in a previous video of mine if you want a bit more detail. For a bit more of a techie present I would suggest a hygrometer which measures temperature and humidity in a space and they're useful things to keep an eye on if you have tropical plants. One of the ones that I have is this which is from a brand called Govi now I quite like this one because it connects to an app on my phone so I can see sort of historical data on there as well as what the temperature and humidity is if I'm out of the house. If you don't like the style of that there are also some beautiful antique or vintagey looking ones but obviously they don't have an app connectivity. The next product in this category is one that I actually received as a Christmas present last year from one of my best friends, which probably says a lot about me as a person. But if I move out of the way of this plant, hopefully you'll be able to see this sort of plastic bird that I'm pointing to there. So you fill this with water and put it in a plant pot and it has a terracotta base so water can go through the terracotta into the soil to keep it damp. It's really heavy so I'm going to put it down. But this kind of thing is great for really thirsty plants, like my peace lily, and without having that burden I'd have to be watering it every couple of days. So having this kind of watering device, I don't really know what the overarching name is, but having a watering device like this is really useful for my more needy plants. There are a few different shapes of watering devices like these but I'll link the one that I got in the description box and also to a few others. The fourth category is perhaps a bit more of a pricey gift but I think that plant subscriptions are fantastic. There are all sorts of subscription boxes nowadays for food and beauty items so obviously there's ones for plants too. A few of the bigger online plant shops like House of Kojo and Beards and Daisies do these for different lengths of time. So your friends could receive new plants each month for six months or a year, which I think would be a fab surprise each month. Other places also do sort of one-off mystery boxes, which are obviously cheaper than a 12-month subscription. And these mystery boxes will have a selection of plants in. Now obviously with this there's no guarantee that your friend won't get duplicates of plants that they've already got but hopefully with a few different types there will at least be some that are new to them. Poppet Plants and Elm Plant Shop are places that I've bought from before and have been really pleased with my plants and they both do mystery boxes which I definitely recommend checking out. Now finally of course plants are the obvious suggestion but if you don't know what plants your friend's into or what ones they've already got, it can be a bit of a minefield. So finally, I want to mention gift cards. Now, I know that vouchers are a bit of a lame present and perhaps seen as a bit of a cop-out, but if you really don't know what plants your friend likes, then sometimes a gift card is the best option. So you know that they'll get something that they really like. I've mentioned House of Kojo but Cowell's Garden Centre also has a big selection of plants, so are good places to buy from. But most plant shops nowadays will have some sort of gift card option, so getting a voucher from an independent shop that's local to your friends will mean they can pick out one that they like, and you'll also be supporting independent businesses. So there we go. Five ideas of presents for your planty friends. All of these are things that I'd be happy to receive myself, but hopefully it gave you some inspiration as well. 
as I've said throughout, there'll be loads of links in the description box, but I'll also be linking to a list on Etsy where I've collated these items as well as a few more as a sort of online gift guide type thing. Please let me know in the comments if you have any other shops or items that you've bought from and really like, or if you have any other gift ideas. But otherwise, I want to say thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on Friday for my next video. Bye!